fight against gender-based violence cannot be won without the involvement of institutions of higher learning such as NIPA, the University of Zambia and Evelyn Horn College. Raising awareness in these institutions is very important because the people, the students, are going to form society. From these colleges, these institutions of higher learning, this is where we have people like ministers, people that are going to be important in society. So it's important that such people are aware about the, the, the effects of violence against women and girls. Just out of interest, I looked at some of the statistics that you know make uh, issues of violence a global epidemic. For example, we have statistics to show that one in um, every three women have been affected by violence, at least physical violence, in one in in one way or the other um, in in their life. Those statistics are worrying, and it's only these few that are reported. But there's so many out there that are not reported. And so there is quite a lot of consensus at national and global level that something needs to be done to end the violence against women and girls. We have started uh, some campaigns to shift some of these attitudes. We've done a grassroots campaign called the I Care About Her campaign in about uh, four or five districts. And so far the results are good. We've seen men engaging men on their own terms and taking action and rooting out these cases of violence. We also launched the campaign in institutions of higher learning. We are calling this the Enough campaign and we believe that we have enough violence and we need to take action against that. And we also believe that together we can actually end this violence against women and girls in institutions of higher learning. And so our ambition there is to equip uh, the students themselves to, you know, with information that would enable them to understand what, what the drivers of violence are and what they can do about it and how they can link with other organizations. This initiative is going to help the students uh, recognize the types of violence that uh, these people perpetrate. And then it's also my appeal to the government that at least they should look into the perpetrators of violences. For example, we had an issue of rape case, which, is all of, which was all over TV, newspapers, and all of that. We don't know what happened to the perpetrators. We don't even know what happened to the, to, to the victim. There's been a culture of silence in high learning institutions. People don't know what to report. But with this initiative that Oxfam has brought on uh, a board on this institution, it's going to help people know what to report, be aware of their environment, and the types of abuse that happen around them. There's a famous quote that says, together we stand, divided we fall. And as student bodies, if we work together, we can combat the violence against women and girls. We are a generation that can bring this violence to an end by working together, enlightening the society about the vows of violence against women and girls. The church places great emphasis on the submission of a woman to a man. This has left most of our women vulnerable in circumstances of violence. It is my cry to the church that may we please begin to educate our girls, our women and our ladies on, the, on their worth. A woman must know her worth. And once you let a woman know her worth, she'll be an influence not only to herself but also to her family and to the future generation. I'm aware that recently we've had cases where men have been violated in one way. Some of them you know, butchered, some of them attacked. Uh, with debilitating kind of effects but you would have noticed that there's so much um, uh, effort in terms of bringing these cases where men have been violated compared to the cases where the women have been violated and so we'd want to emphasize that out there the, the number of women that are violated are actually more and so that deserves a lot of discussion and attention and action to be done. Our core as a union is that we should ensure that students learn in a safe and conducive environment. There is need for our students to see parents in our administrators. There is need for our students to see a parent in our lecturers. So that through that, we as the young generation shall be able to emulate good values towards what we see in our leaders or in our lectures, and together we are going to drive and eradicate the violence that we are talking about today. And so if you care about the girls and you care about their welfare and you want them to be a part of the development agenda in a meaningful way, 
we actually urge you to join us in this campaign and take action in the violence against women and girls.